Welcome back. Are you a timeshare owner? Maybe you have been the victim of hefty fees or false promises from someone trying to sell you a timeshare. Well, now the Federal Trade Commission is taking action to keep you safe. Benefits consultant and consumer watchdog Jerry Zivic joins us with more in tonight's For Your Benefit. And Jerry, uh, I know that, uh, that timeshares sometimes are problematic to sell. I know that my parents uh, have had that difficulty. Uh, have there been problems with resellers recently? Yes, there have been a, a lot of problems with these uh, sellers recently. There have been scams where you've been telemarketed, where somebody will call up and tell you that it's a hot market and they're, they're, they have somebody that's ready to buy your condo. Have there been any legal proceedings? And if so, who are conducting them? Uh, the Federal Trade Commission has actually stopped a Florida timeshare reseller from doing business. They've also seized all of their assets for fraudulent acts on their part. Uh, what should people who own time, uh, timeshares be concerned about if they are making a decision to, to go sell them? I think they should be concerned about somebody making promises that they can't deliver upon. They should be concerned if the person is asking for money up front, and they should also always have a contract whenever they're entering into any agreement with a timeshare reseller. But you know, a lot of these happen under, uh, unfortunately, high sales pressure tactics, and, and we've all seen that. Sometimes we've uh, been victims of it, and it's very difficult in those situations for people know what to do when they hear a, a terrific deal uh, and don't always know how to walk away from it. There's no free lunch. If it looks too good, if it's too shiny, walk away. That same deal, if it's so good, will be there tomorrow. And what is the alternative that, you know, you said that the Federal Trade Commission is watching these companies, uh, but if somebody feels that uh, they have been ripped off in some fashion, what is the first thing that they should do? Well, I think the first thing they should do is they should contact the Florida Attorney General, they should contact the Better Business Bureau, and they should also contact an attorney. And in terms of the speed and effectiveness of litigation to deal with something like that, I mean, are people able to get fairly quick result? No. There's no such thing as a quick result in the legal system. That's why don't give up your money. Be careful. But, but still, timeshares are a great way to take vacations. I know that, you know, we all have family members uh, either around here or in Orlando with Disney World who really do rely on timeshares to, to, as their way of, of taking a vacation. So uh, what is the best way for people to get informed and educated about what they're doing? I think you have to research the company that's selling the timeshare. I think, once again, you go to the Better Business Bureau, see if there's been any complaints filed. I think you have to go to the state's uh, attorney general's office, whatever state the timeshare is in, and check if there's been any complaints filed against them as well. All right, Jerry Zivic, thank you very much. Jerry okay. Zivic is a watchdog, consumer watchdog and benefits consultant. He joins us every other week to let us know what to watch for and to keep on our toes. Your primetime headlines are next, coming up after this.